Hey guys, so in this video, this is a quick update to something that ManyChat recently changed about a week ago. The step that we're going to be talking about is adding subscribers to a sequence. So it can be from anywhere. In this example, we'll be doing this from a growth tool. But adding your subscribers to a sequence is now in a different place. So let's go ahead and I'll show you where that is. So before last week, what you would do is you would add someone to a sequence right here, okay? So you would go into a growth tool and you see right here it says add subscriber to sequence. And now it says this feature is moved inside of Flow Builder. So to add subscribers, you can follow all their steps. <laughs> it's kind of a lot if you really want to, but here's really all you, need to, all you need to know. So just go into edit. And then this is Flow Builder, okay? So see how it says go to basic builder? That means we're in flow builder. So there's two. So all you have to do is just click that instead. And then in order to add them to a sequence, again, we're doing the same thing. It just, it looks different now. So all we're doing here is it's stored now in events. So go into events and then do subscribe to a sequence. And as Marcus pointed out, this is now only pro feature. So you will need to upgrade your ManyChat account to Pro. It's about $10 a month to start off, so it's absolutely worth it. You're gonna make quite a big ROI off of this, uh, you know, if you follow along and do this the right way. So definitely do that, and all you, gotta do, all you gotta do is click there, and at first you see it says disabled. So important note is you need to have created your sequence previously, so prior to this. So go ahead, pick one out that you have already created. So create the sequence, which you would already do in automation. So once you have your sequence ready to go, you just pick it right here. So we'll, we'll click on that one. And then you see how it still says disabled, you need to go down here and click activated. And that's all you have to do. So then you would just click publish and then this is going to work as expected. So when someone goes through the starting step via the ref URL, they will also be subscribed to the sequence that you chose here.